Howdy, howdy everyone, and welcome back to this tutorial. Now that we have the scaffolding uh, ready, the next step we want to do is start building our pages, uh, pulling the data from uh, our contentful database, and then um, yeah, creating our pages and our React components. But before we can pull any data from contentful, we need to create the data, we need to model the data. Uh, we first need to, to, to create a model, and populate the contentful with data, right? So the first thing, uh, before we can create any model, I want to show you the actual model, which is um, this ERD diagram, which stands for Entity Relationships Diagram. And these are the, um, the entities that make up our model. So you can see we have a company here, company entity, and we have the job entity, and they are related with relationships. So if we, we, if we go through them very quickly, you can see that the company has a name, a slug, a city, logo, cover image, slogan, and website. And for the job, it's more or less the same. Uh, we have different entities and their types. Um, and the goal is to create these entities in our contentful model right so we're going to go through them one by one and you can see here uh, the relationships this basically means that a company has zero or many jobs posted and a job is posted by one and only one company okay and then this is what we call a reflexive relationship meaning that a job can be related to zero or many jobs and um, yeah, that's basically it. So it, it's, a, it's a relationship that links an entity to itself, okay? And we're gonna see how uh, to model this in, uh, in Contentful and if it's actually possible to do in Contentful, okay? So without further ado, let's get started by um, creating this entity. So I'm gonna go to Contentful. I'm gonna start with this um, uh, entity, the company entity. So let's get started. So I'm going to create design my model. What's the name of the content type? We're going to call it company. Okay. Um, add, add a description. Then I'm going to start adding some fields. We remember that the first field I'm going to, for now, I'm going to create all the, the fields without adding the constraints. We're going to look at cons constraints and validation later on. So I'm just going to create them very quickly. We have a name. Okay. Create. Okay, and then we have a slug, create, we have um, the city, create, we have the logo, which is an image, okay, so the logo of the company, it's only one, and then we have um, the cover image, cover image, okay, and after that we have the website, okay, which is another text website of the company all right and you can see here contentful gives you like recommendation as to what to choose for example here you see that URLs is, is one of the the the, the type of fields uh, that this field is, is suitable for the URLs so that we're going to choose this okay so with that we are done creating the company entity at least for now we're going to come back to these and, and add validations and constraints so let me save this. All right, voila, we have our first content model. So if I go back here, we have, you can see it here. So let's add another content type. We're gonna add a job content type, okay? So we add that here, create, and then we add some types. If you remember, if I go back here, um, we can see that we have title, slug, remote okay, um, feature job, base and so on and so forth so i'm going to go through them one by one so if i come here okay i add title the title of the job okay create the next one is a slug okay the next one is is it is this job um uh a job that is fine remotely so this is a boolean i'm going to add a boolean remote okay okay let's add that and then feature job same thing uh, this is a boolean this is job a featured job uh, let's create that it's a boolean 
the next thing is base annual salary so this is a number okay base annual salary okay this is a number and this i think a whole number is better uh, than a decimal i think okay so we're going to add here um, just so we add those nice round numbers okay so let's add that um and then the date when this job was posted of course we can we can use the um because when you when you in any cms that you use you net you definitely have like um a metadata attached to to the to the um the content that you're creating which automatically saves the date when it's being created but you 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 would like to have more granularity uh, as to what gets added because you may want to um publish the data at a later time maybe publish the entity at a later time and use this um this field uh and be and yeah and just have more granularity as to what gets uh uh saved in the database and what is being automatically created by the crm so i'm going to add this instead of relying on what contentful will give us which is the created ad field which you can change so let's add that here this is a date time field okay so now let's add experience level and if i go back to the model here you see that experience level is of time enum basically what this means is that um when we're going to work when we're going to be at the constraint and validation uh, lesson we're going to make sure that these fields although they are strings they can only be of certain values we only have a, a set of values maybe like senior media junior and uh, maybe tech lead and same thing for the job type here so for example job type could be um full-time part-time uh, internship contract so although this is as these are strings we only want the values to be uh within a certain with um predefined within uh, a certain uh set of allowed values so that's what you're going to do here so again on this in this um first stage we are we are not creating the constraints and validations you're going to do that later on so i'm just going to add it as as text field so experience level okay you're going to come back to this and um make the constraints and validation experience level all right same thing for a uh, job type job type all right let me add that here job type short text job category job categories for example if you are publishing multiple jobs from in your company one could be a software engineering job one could be a, uh, like one could be software engineer software development one could be finance that's another category one could be marketing that's another category um, yeah so that's what the category is for um, and then we have application link again we're going to come back to this and add some constraint and validation we want this to be a link um, a url basically so we, we will add the proper validation to make sure that the user um, when adding data to this field can only add um, um, a link a url so application link okay let me save that and then next thing we want to add is a job description okay now this is uh we, we don't want we want this to be a rich text because we want the person publishing a job to be able to add like a uh, list i list uh, elements even images if they want to so that's why we, we are going to add this as a, as a rich text so job description okay and then i save this next thing similarly is a, it's a rich text about you uh and we, you, you saw in the demo that we did in previous lesson that these sections were very uh, uh yeah we, we had some proper html there bold elements list and so on so that's what you want to achieve here uh so i'm gonna call this about you it's a rich text yes let's go and a few more to go job responsibilities okay job response uh, Responsibilities. Oops, I think I stepped that is right. Great job responsibility. Rich text. 
remuneration package similarly here remuneration package okay let's save that and uh, skills okay now this is uh, interesting because i would have loved to add a, a field called skills which is going to be tags but it's not possible uh like in a straightforward way in contentful so we're going to rely on uh, let me let, let me first save and i'll show you what i mean we have here skills which are which is of type tags right so i mean it, it would be great to have it here immediately um as, as a as a field type but it's not possible so what we're going to do um when we're going to be creating the content in contentful uh we're going to rely on these tags here that contentful gives us uh and you can see here um that when you're creating a tag the way we're going to differentiate basically what contentful does is contentful gives you um these meta 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 fields and this meta field called tags and um there's no way for you to add like a field type uh to your content model that is called skills and then add a bunch of tags in it right so you you can only uh when you're creating the actual content uh add link your content to one of the tags that you have created so that's why here uh you have you see here what i did what i, I will do for in this tutorial is that we are gonna uh when we when we, instead of having like the model suggests here uh, a field type called skills um, in our job entity. What we are going to do instead is that we are going to link um, when we are creating a job in Contentful, we are going to link it um, to a tag that has the prefix skill dot. Okay, so because this is just like a, a bucket, you can create all sort of tags that you want in it. They don't necessarily need to be skills. Right, but for us, you know, to differentiate uh, the skills tags to uh, other type of tags, uh, we're gonna make sure that every tag that we create uh, that is meant to be a skill has a prefix skill, and also we need to make them public. Okay, so this one that I created just 30 minutes ago is a is a private. So let's create one. Uh, I'm gonna call it skill dot. Let's say nextjs. Okay. So I'm going to copy this and put it here, make it public by default, um, contentful to complete and uh, use camel, use camel case. We don't want that. Okay. So let's save and create another. Okay. Now, uh, skills react JS. Gonna put that public also. Okay. And that's it, right? We have already two, two tags that are perfect, right? They're public and they have the prefix that we want. Okay, so I think with that we are nearly done. Um, there are still a few things missing because our model, our content uh, model so far, doesn't carry uh, the um, the relationship. So how are we going to be able to know uh, as uh, the way the way things are right now? How are we going to be able to know that this job belongs to this company? There's no way to know it uh, uh, as things stand now, right? But we're going to cover that in the subsequent videos. But for now, let's move on to um, adding some constraints and validations to um, our our uh, content, content models. And we're going to do that in the next video. Thank you very much.